Hello, my name is Hagen. I'm a solutions architect in the SageMaker Edge team. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can create a deployment package of your model with the SageMaker Edge Packager. The package assigns the model using either customer supplied keys or AWS keys, so that the Edge agent can verify that the model has not been tampered with before loading it into the runtime. First, let's have a look at how this fits into the machine learning lifecycle with Edge devices. The initial model can be created in SageMaker. That model then gets optimized and packaged for deployment on a fleet of Edge devices. When that model is running on a device, the Edge Agent Runtime lets you capture data from those models and send that data back into the cloud. The uploaded data can be used to retrain the model for better performance. The updated model can then go through the same cycle again. Let's package our compiled model for deployment to Edge devices. To do that, we have to create an Edge packaging job in the SageMaker console. First, we have to give our job a unique name. Then we have to specify the model name and model version. These two values are very important because the um, Edge Monitor will later use those to show you which models and version of those models are running on your fleet of devices. Then we have to select an IAM role that has the Amazon, Amazon SageMaker full access IAM policy attached. In my account, that would be the SageMaker Edge Manager role. There's also an optional a key that you can specify if you want the EBS volume that's being used for this job to be encrypted. Um, that highly depends on your security policies. For this demo, I will um, skip this. And then lastly, there are the usual uh, tags that you can uh, assign to any um, AWS resources. Um, to make it easier to manage those resources, um, I will leave this empty for the demonstration. The second step is to define the model source. You do that by providing the uh, compilation job name that was used to compile your model for the edge device that you want to deploy to. So let's go to the compiler uh, console and copy the uh, name that was used, uh, the compilation job name that was used. Um, then we can go to the last step where we configure the output. Um, first, we have to give the compilation job an S3 path. Um, where it should write the uh, resulting uh, deployment package. Um, let's get that from our S3 console. And then there is another optional encryption key that the packager uh, can use to um, encrypt the deployment package at rest. Um, again, highly depends on your security policies. If you need to specify this, I will skip this for this demo. And then the last configuration parameter here is uh, again optional. Uh, you can create some presets for deployment, specifically for Greengrass V2. Um, I will skip that for this demonstration as well. And now I'm ready to submit my job. Running the packaging job will take uh, a little bit. The packaging job is now done, as you can see. So let's have a look at the details um, of our packaging job. Uh, we can see all the parameters that we specified uh, when we created the job. And here um, is the um, location of the ready to deploy package. Um, the packaging job creates a, a zip tar file that contains all the artifacts that the edge agent requires to run the model, as well as um, signatures that it can use to validate the model to make sure that it hasn't been um, uh, modified uh, during transit. Let's have a quick look at our S3 uh, console to make sure that it's really in our folder. And there it is, uh, our deployment package ready to be sent to our Edge devices. This concludes the demo. Here are some additional resources, including a link to our documentation of supported platforms and devices, as well as links to notebooks and workshops that can help you get started with SageMaker Edge. Thank you.